Well, my name is Sandra. Welcome to Stretch. This is a 30 minutes stretch class to, you know, to stretch it out, reach, lengthen, twist, and, you know, just uh, work out the kinks. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for joining me. Only thing you need is your mat if you have blocks or one block or even maybe two blocks, one book, like a bigger book, that would be a great idea. Um, but you don't really have to have anything, right? Other than yourself. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start standing and we're going to come to a seat relatively soon, but I'm just going to stretch you out here. Toes pointing out, inhale, lift your arms up high across your wrists, have your palms meet on the next, and reach over towards the right. Inhale, center, and then exhaling over towards the left. Inhale, come back to center, take your back bend, lifting your hips forward, and come back to a neutral spine. Separate your palms, bring your arms not wide, bring your heels out, and then hinge forward, coming down to a Flat back, take an inhale as you're exhaling, bring your right hand down in the center and let your gaze rise towards your left thumb. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale, come back to center, flat back, extend. And then exhale, take your left hand down, letting your right arm rise and your gaze rises towards your right thumb as well. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale, come back to a flat back, arms reach out wide, then rotate your thumbs down, reach back, interlace your fingers, and exhale, fold forward, hinging from your hips as your arms reach overhead, away from your spine, so you're uh, opening through your shoulders. Take an inhale, as you're exhaling, hinge a little further down from your hips. So think about your feet. Your toes should be nice and loose. Lift the inner arches of your feet and press more into the outside edges of your feet. Inhale, come halfway up and then exhale, just bring your fingertips down. So you're back to your flat back. Take an inhale and then exhale, forward, forward. Your feet are still parallel. Inhale, lift and exhale, gently forward. Inhale, lift, flat back, and exhale forward. Now on your next inhale, bring your heels in so the toes are pointing out. Have a soft bend in your knees and then roll up one vertebra at the time. Inhale, lift your shoulders, exhale, let your shoulders slide down. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale, <sighs> sigh it out. All right, take your right hand or keep your right hand by your right leg, half a thigh, inhale, left arm lifts, and then reach over towards the right. Try to keep your left shoulder back so you're not collapsing forward. Just feel that nice stretch, starting from your left hip bone, going all the way up to your left fingertips. Inhale, bring it back to center, exhale, left arm down. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, letting your left palm slide down your left leg, reaching longer, finding that same exact stretch your hand on the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring it back to center, release your right arm down, wiggle your fingers as you're taking another shoulder roll. All right, so now turn towards your left. So your left foot is in front, um, we're going to come down into a lunge position. Now your hips are facing forward towards the short side of the mat, right? Lift your right heel up, inhale. If you can, lift your arms up high. If you need more support, take your hands to your left upper thigh and then start bending your right knee as much as your left knee. So kind of towards 90 degrees, right? Stay here if you need to. Option to inhale, let your arms rise and reach your arms back. As you're reaching back, try to rotate through the wrists so the pinkies come in towards each other. Take an inhale, let your chest lift up and then exhale, reach your arms a little further back. It requires a little balance. Take an inhale and then exhale, gently lower your right knee down, right? Option to untuck your right toes. 
Option to stay tucked. I'm going to untuck. Inhale, reach forward with your arms. So you're in a straight line, right? From your right knee out through your fingertips. Inhale, lift back up and find your back bend. Just the right knee is down now. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Then draw your hands to heart center. Connect your thumbs with your sternum. One more inhale. And then exhale, twist to the left. So you're just staying upright with your spine, you're finding a twist that starts at the base of your spine. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, bring it back to center, let your arms rise, eventually maybe separating your palms again and exhaling. Inhale, let your fingertips come down to frame your left leg and then exhale, hinge from your hips back, shifting your glutes, your, especially your right glute, right over your right heel. Flex through your left foot as you're shifting back. Inhale, shift forward, finding that hip opening stretch. And then exhaling, shifting back. Inhale forward and exhale back. One more time. Inhale forward and then exhale, shift back. On your next inhale, start tucking your right toes under if you release them uh, down. And then lift your right knee up, step your right foot to meet the left. Slowly and with control, if you can, start coming up with your knees gently bent. Inhale, lift your shoulders up as your legs extend. Exhale, bring them back and down. We're going to switch sides. So if you want to bring your hands to your hips, your left leg lifts and then steps back. So your right leg is in front. Your torso is upright. Eventually exhale, bend your left knee as much as your front knee. So you're making those 90 degree angles if you can hover. If you ever need to lower down that knee right away, you can. Inhale, let your arms rise and reach back, maybe rotating the wrists towards each other. So you're Bring the pinkies in and then you're drawing back. So that will help you to open through the shoulder girdle, right? As your chest is nice and open. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Bring your hands to a heart center. Now exhale, twist to the right. Try to keep your torso as upright as you can, inhaling and keep your thumbs at your stand center plate, your sternum, exhaling. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to center, let your arms rise, find a back bend if you can, and then exhale, gently lower your left knee down if it's not already down. Option to keep the toes tucked, option to untuck. I prefer to untuck, but that's just your own personal preference. One more inhale here. The next step, bring your hands down, framing your right foot. One more inhale, and then exhale, shift back. Flexing through your right foot, trying to extend your right leg. So resist the urge to shift your left hip towards the left. Try to keep your left or uh, glued, I should say, your left glued over your left heel. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, shift back. So you're working with your breath here as you're stretching those muscle groups. Inhale forward and exhaling back. So where should you feel that? Well, uh, in your right hamstring. Right, strongly probably, the whole back of your leg, including the adductors. Inhale, shift forward one more time, and then tuck the left toes, lift through the left knee, and we're eventually going to step the left foot up to meet the right. Roll up one vertebra at the time, keeping your knees bent. Inhale, lift your shoulders as your legs extend. Exhale, shoulders back and down. All right, bring your hands to a heart center and turn so you can see me because you're facing the long side of the mat. Yes. All right. So from here, your toes are turned out. Bring your arms up first, palms facing forward, 
and then exhale, bend your elbows about like towards 90 degree angles, squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit together so you're getting more openness in the front of your chest, fingers are spread wide, and then exhale, lower down with the pelvic tuck, so the tailbone points down, and you're not sticking your glutes out, right? So you're lowering down just like that, as if you're sliding down, A or hold it here, inhaling, and exhaling. Every time you exhale, try to bring your belly button a little closer towards your spine to engage. One more inhale, and then exhale. Bring your right forearm onto your right upper thigh. Take your left arm and reach overhead. If you can, you can let your gaze travel up your left arm to your left palm. If this is a little wobbly and you need more grounding, just turn your head and gaze towards your right big toe. Inhale, then exhale, sink a little bit lower if you can and then reach a little bit further. Inhale, come back through center, take your left forearm onto, or yeah, left forearm onto your left upper thigh, reach your right arm overhead, and then reach even longer as your gaze may travel up your right arm to your right palm, or your gaze may shift down towards your left big toe. Inhaling, and exhaling. One more inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bring it back up to center, bring your fingers forward except for your thumbs, they turn back as you're reaching over your upper legs, upper thighs, right? Exhale. Bring your right shoulder forward as your gaze shifts towards your left elbow. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Bring it through center to exhale. Bring your left shoulder forward and gaze towards your right elbow. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, bring it back to center, extend your leg. This should feel really good, stay where you are for now. Inhale, bring your arms back up just like we started. Cross your wrists, have your palms meet. Then exhale, reach towards the right. Inhale, center. And exhale, reach over towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Bring your uh, ball mounts in and your heels out, so you're either slightly doggy toed or at least uh, your feet are parallel. Exhale. Bring your fingertips down and just relax your head, neck and shoulders down. So, option to make a circle with your head, going one way, <sighs> maybe sighing it out and going the opposite way. Breathe and release. And then from here, come halfway up, we're going to turn and we're going to come to all fours facing the long, uh, no, the short edge <laughs> of the mat. All right, so we're going to come to a neutral spine. A neutral spine is the heavy medium between the, the cat and the cow. So let's find that by doing some cat and cows first. So inhaling, and as you're exhaling, round through your spine, making sure that your wrists are right under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. You're tucking your chin towards your throat and you're gazing towards your navel. Inhale. Now drop your belly button as your gaze and tailbone lift. And you're rotating those elbows in, corks to like towards each other. So now you're finding your cow back, right? That's where you're. Um, arching, and then exhaling, rounding again, cat back, gaze towards navel, make it as, uh, as extreme or as gentle and subtle as it needs to be for you. So, exhaling, cat, inhaling, cow, and then find the happy medium where the spine is neutral, right, and you uh, the crown of your head is in line with the rest of your spine, so you're not gazing up too high, not to strain your necks. Inhale, lift your right arm forward, your thumb is up, option to reach your left leg back. Option to stay here, option if you need to modify, bring the ball mount of your left foot down and press out through your left heel. If you want more and you want to add a little bit of a bind and a 
uh, stretch here, bend here, left knee, point to the left foot, reach back through your right arm and over the top of your left foot. Now push your foot into the hand until you feel that like rise, right? The right the left knee rise. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and then exhale. We're going to release it back eventually. Coming back to a tabletop position. Exhale. Find the cat back. Rounding through the spine, gazing towards the navel. And then inhaling, finding your cow. Dropping the navel, lifting the tailbone and the gaze. Then come back to a neutral spot. Rotate those elbows, corkscrew like in. Let's take one rest cycle here. Take an inhale through the nose and then exhale. <sighs> Let it go, release. Inhale, left arm reaches forward with the thumb up. And then exhale, release or reach your right leg back. Option to release your right wall mount down and press out through your right heel. Option to keep the right leg lifted and reach out through your right heel. Option, if you want a little bit more, bend your knees, start pointing through the right foot. Then reach back with your left arm and reach with your left hand over the top of your right foot and then start pushing the foot into the hand as opposed to pulling on the foot, right? So you're pushing the foot into the hand and then feel that right knee lift. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and then exhale. Reach out long. Bring it down, slide it in, find your tabletop. Inhaling, and as you're exhaling, one more time, rounding through the spine, finding your cat back, gazing towards the navel, nice long necks, and then find a neutral spine. All right, so bring your left hand in the center, right underneath your chin, and then inhale, lift your right arm up and gaze towards your right thumb. So maybe this is exactly where you want to step. Maybe you want to thread the needle by exhale reaching with your right arm or hand. Just past that left wrist, threading it through and then lowering your right ear towards the ground. Your left arm may go forward, fingertips down like spider fingers and then maybe you're turning your head further so you can look under your left armpit. If you would prefer to Add a bind or half bind, you can just bring your left arm behind your back or even reach with your left hand for your right upper thigh and then turn the head even further. So if you have a half bind or bind, continue to rotate your head towards the left. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and then exhale, release that left hand. And reach maybe your left arm forward if it's not already there. And then exhale, slide your left hand back towards your head. And inhale, lift your right arm again. So it's like a counter stretch here. So we're lifting the same arm back up. Exhale. Bring it back to your tabletop position before we switch sides. Let's wag the dog or wag the tail. So bring your right hip forward, gaze towards your right shoulder, inhale, center, exhale. Bring the left hip forward as you're gazing towards your left shoulder. Inhale, center, exhaling, right hip comes forward. Inhale, center, exhale, last time, left hip comes forward. Come back to center, find your neutral spine. And then inhale, let your left arm reach up high and once again. Maybe this is where you want to be and stay. Inhale. Or maybe exhale, thread the needle, bringing your left hand behind your right wrist. And then lowering your left ear towards the ground. So option here to bring your right arm forward, turn your head and gaze under your right armpit. Option to inhale, take your right arm behind your back and find a half bind or bind. Rotate your head a little bit further, inhaling. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Release your right arm and bring it forward if it's not already there. Then exhale. Slide your right palm towards your head. 
and inhale, let your left arm rise once again, gaze towards the thumb, and exhale, bring it down. Very nice. All right, so we are going to sit down on our shins in hero's pose or whatever you want to call it here. So you're sitting on your, uh, with your glutes on your heels, on your sh with your shins down to the mat. All right, so from here we're going to bring the right leg forward. You may shift to the side if you want to or need to. I can just bring it forward. And you're sitting on your left heel right now with your left glute. We're going to inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hinge forward and pull over that right leg. Strongly flexing through your right foot. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, hinge forward, drawing your gaze towards your right ankle. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, come back up. From here, um, bring your hips over towards the right. Bring your left leg forward and cross your left knee over. And left, yeah, left knee over so the foot goes on the right side of your right leg, right? Your left foot. And then inhale, lift your chest, straighten your spine and just grow a little bit taller. It's all about legs throughout the spine, all the way out through the crown of your head. Inhale, create more legs and then we're going to eventually twist to the left. So maybe your right arm wraps around your left leg. Inhale, lift your left arm high and then exhale. Turn as your left hand reaches back past your sit bones. Inhaling, growing taller, and exhaling, twisting a little bit further. So option here for a deeper twist, instead of hugging the right arm around the left leg, you could bring that right arm past that left leg, and maybe even extend that arm, hovering the fingertips around your right knee, from the inside of your right knee. Inhale, grow taller, right? Even longer throughout the spine, exhale. Turn your head maybe a little bit further and gaze over that left shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, come back to face forward. Take your left foot, right, and place it on the inside of your right inner thigh, right? Just slightly different stretch and you're going to try to twist to the right if you can. Reach with your left hand for the outside of your right uh, foot. If you need to reach higher up, go for it, right? Wherever you can reach. Take an inhale and bring your right fingertips down here on the right side, past your hip. And then exhale, hinge and fold and keep your gaze towards the right, gazing towards your right fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale, and then exhale, pull it even deeper. Inhale, come out of it. So we're going to catch the right big toe with our first two fingers and thumbs. If you can reach with an extended leg, great. If you need to bend that knee in order to bring it up, go for it. And then it can be here, right? We're going to open that hip. It could also be here, extending it, right? See what you need here. I'm going to face forward so you can maybe see me a little bit better. <sighs> and it can be right like here. Just lubricating that right hip joint, right? Opening up. All right. So, <sighs> release. So we're going to cross the ankles, roll over the knees, right? And find our Hero's pose, or a sitting on the shins pose again, right? So now I'm facing you, but it's the same thing. We're just going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to turn. You stay where you are, right? So either scooch over to the right side, or maybe you can extend that left leg without shifting over. You decide. So you're sitting with your right foot on your right heel. If that's not comfortable, you can shift the heel out if you need to. So inhale. Lift your arms up high, and then exhale, fold over that left leg, flexing through your left foot. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. 
Inhale, half lift, gaze forward and exhale. Gaze towards your left ankle as you're falling even deeper if you can. One more breath cycle here, inhaling and exhale. Inhale, rise, bring your hips to the left, release your right leg, bring your right leg to cross over, your left leg stays extended, <coughs> excuse me. Then inhale, hug your leg towards your belly, your chest as you're straightening through your spine, that's the main thing, straightening the spine. Inhale, grow even taller, and then we're going to find a twist as you're wrapping your left arm around your right leg. Inhale, right arm reaches straight up, and then exhale, find that twist where the right palm goes down, past your sit bones. Nice. Gaze close over your right shoulder, inhaling, creating more length. Exhaling, hugging the belly button in. Inhaling and exhaling. One more. Inhale and exhale. If you want, at least for one breath, to maybe extend that left arm long and cast to the inside um, or to the outside of your right leg. So the ins are gazing at the inside of your left arm. Inhale, grow even taller. It's all about lengthening the spine and then exhaling, twisting, releasing, detoxing, flexing through the left foot still. And then inhale, bring it back to center. <sighs> all right. So we're going to bring the right foot to the inside of your left inner thigh, right? Remember, we're going to add that twist where we're turning towards the left, and if you can, reach with your right hand for the outside of your left foot. If you need to reach higher up on the leg, no worries, just as well. Take your left hand and fingertip down, a little past your left hip, and then exhale, twist over, turning your head to gaze towards your left fingertips. Inhaling, and exhale. It's such a great lower back release. We did it on the left side. Now we're doing it on the right. You should strongly feel it there. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale. Come back up. All right. So same as on the other side. Option here. Left leg. Left first two fingers and thumb around the left big toe. Right, option to come straight up like this. Option to uh, bend the knee first and then start coming up. And maybe your knee needs to stay bent, right? So we're just lubricating that left hip joint. Inhale, grow even taller. Come to your personal extent for your left leg. And go back and forth. <sighs> Let's do one more breath cycle here. Inhaling and exhaling. Very nice. All right, bring it back in. Inhale, let your arms rise overhead and then exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Fall deeply. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, walk your hands back into your legs. I'm going to turn back around. You stay where you are. So you should be right here, right? Then roll over your knees. And find your tabletop position. Tuck your toes. Once you're there, inhale, lift your knees off the ground. Lift your hips up and exhale. Find downward facing dog. Set your feet closer to each other and lift the right leg up high. We're going to find Pigeon Pose Kaptasana. So draw your right flexed foot behind your left wrist and lower down. So untuck the toes on your left foot and try to keep your hips facing forward. If this is too much and you want to take away gravity, right, or the weight of your body on top of it, just come to a figure four formation on your back where you're making the figure four shape with your right leg, right, flexing through the right foot. So see where you need to be at. We're going to go through a couple breath cycles here and then we switch sides and we're done. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back 
into what's your leg. Tuck the toes on your left foot, lift the knee, and then reach the right leg back. Roll through your right ankle one way and the other. Maybe bend the knee and extend and bend the knee for, you know, once or twice. And then bring the right foot down, inhale, lift the left leg. Then draw your left knee in, flex through your left foot and bring your flexed left foot behind your right wrist. Inhaling, lifting your chest, untucking the toes of your right foot and envisioning your hips to face forward. You can stay upright here. You can exhale lower halfway towards your forearms. You can extend your arms forward and even bring your forehead down. Use blocks or a book if you want to. And you can be lying on your back with your left leg bent, making the figure four shape instead. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more inhale. And Inhale, walk your hands back in towards your uh, left leg. Now turn to face the long side of the mat again. Inhale, flex your feet. Inhale, let your arms reach up high. And then exhale, final stretch, folding forward, coming to your own personal extent. Maybe it's just bringing the forearms down. Maybe you're actually here, right? Option to catch your toes if you wanted to as well. See where you need to be at right now. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling 